Welcome back. With this video, we will take our first step into the systemic design methodology. This discipline deals with scenarios with high degree of complexity, with multiple interconnections. To face them, we need systemic and interconnected solutions. A transdisciplinary approach is one of the main strategy. The systemic designer has a key role as a mediator among all the actors involved. He will promote horizontal dialogue and design sustainable and innovative solutions. To reach such result, the systemic design methodology provides a tool called holistic diagnosis. This term comes from the union of two terms, holistics that derives from the holistic theory, which states that the whole is more than the sum of its single part, and diagnosis, whose refer to the doctor's uh, opinion in the healthcare field. The holistic diagnosis is described as a mapping of the state of the art of a context, a product, a process, or a service. It's carried out with different means at different levels of investigation, environmental, economic, social, cultural, and so on. All those information are visualized in an accessible way, capable to support uh, data interpretation for a wide variety of actors. The holistic diagnosis is based on five steps, known with the acronym ARCVI, that stands for Assess, Research, Collect, Visualize and Interpret. Together, they define a non-linear path in which feedback loops between different steps take place. Let's analyze them more in deep. The first one, assess, is useful to support an organized data collection. To do so, we need to define several parameters, starting from the scope of the project. That help us also to define the boundaries of the system, not only from a physical point of view, but also the political and social-cultural ones. It is then necessary to define the main topics of the research, subdivided by the categories of data that we want to collect. For example, a key uh, topic of a certain territory could be the demographical aspect that can be subdivided in categories like the average age, the employment rate, the density of population, and so on. The main outcome of this step will be the generation of a customized format that is fundamental for the next step of the holistic diagnosis path. It's now time to carry on our research phase, looking for both quantitative and qualitative data by using two different methodologies, the desk and the field research. The desk research takes advantage of conventional sources like uh, uh, existing literature review, uh, database or report but also from unconventional sources like other media and social networks. The field research instead is about the direct observation of the territory uh, analyzed and with interviews to the key actors of the territory. Those methodologies take place simultaneously in order to mutually complete and verify the collected data. The third step, collect, aims to assemble all the raw data gathered in the previous step, organizing them in a unified format uh, derived from the first step of the holistic diagnosis. Remember, it is fundamental to uh, provide the references for each data in order to guarantee an accurate and traceable analysis. The following step, visualize, is the key 
to place the information on a common ground accessible by all the actors involved in the research, from the expert to the citizen. To do so, the systemic designer takes advantages from graphic tools like software or freehand drawings in order to elaborate a clear visualization of the database in the form of infographics and gigamaps. Now that the results have been visualized, it's time to interpret them. This open process allows a multidisciplinary and holistic reading of the context, enabling a deep and effective analysis by finding connections among the data. Moreover, the visualization enables the interpretation of the data flows as well as the relational factors, encouraging the overview of the existing relations between the components of the system. The holistic diagnosis framework has been successfully applied to several systemic design projects belonging to different fields like industrial production, local community, and even policy making. In conclusion, the holistic diagnosis is uh, able to create a new solid reference point that is fundamental for the following step of the systemic design methodology.